Hey, it's Hay, and today I wanted to talk about crawling and rolling for fursuiters. If you're wondering why I might have specks of green stuff all over my fursuit, it's because I just got done rolling and crawling on a bunch of turf at a park nearby. But anyways, how do I do that? So as you can imagine, crawling is going to use your hands and your feet, not your knees, not your elbows. First, I like to start off with my feet together, knees apart, lean forward and place your palms onto the floor. Make sure you're placing your palms a comfortable distance away so that your knees and your elbows don't hit each other. When you go to crawl forward, make sure you're using an opposite hand and an opposite foot. Just as if you were walking, if you had your left foot first, your right hand would follow in front of you as well. You'll also want to turn your hips to the side to make room for your other leg to catch up. You also want to keep your hips as low as you can to make sure it's a nice, efficient movement across the ground. Some common mistakes is keeping your hips too high and that kind of stunts your movement. It limits your range of mobility and makes your crawl look a little weird and wonky. Also, I've seen sometimes people placing their right foot and their right hand and their left foot and their left hand together in unison. This makes it look like a very unbalanced, unusual crawling. If that fits your character, then by all means go for it. I'm just here to show my best practices for crawling along the floor as fast as I can. Just be careful not to run into things. Now, in a fursuit, since you have limited visibility, you're going to have to either memorize the path in front of you or just try to look up periodically or as often as you can. Don't worry too much about having your head staying upright because that might strain your neck. Again, we want to keep the hips as low as possible to allow for a more efficient movement. But just be careful if you're like me and you have thick thighs on your fursuit to not hit the ground or scrape them. Also keep in mind if you are wearing some kind of larger footwear, or in my case, feet paws, so make sure to give your feet plenty of space to move past each other. You can also do something called a pivot. A pivot is very similar to a cartwheel where you're placing the weight on your hands and you're pivoting around one of your hands, either going the right or the left side. And the idea is your feet are going to be facing the direction you just came from once you've landed. This is useful if you just jump from something and you have a little bit too much forward momentum for a four point landing as I discussed in a previous video. It's also just a good way to turn around and it looks kind of cool in my opinion. Now, something you probably see me do a lot is rolling. Rolling primarily is used for taking a large drop and distributing all that force across a larger surface area. AKA if you're doing parkour and you jump off say an eight foot gap or something taller than yourself, you can use a roll to save yourself from injury. They're also just really fun to practice and you can pretty much sprinkle them in anywhere you have flat ground. I recommend starting off on soft surfaces first. This could be grass, carpet, or some kind of mat below you before ever trying to move to anything hard like concrete. The reason for this is because the way the roll works is by avoiding any of your joints or any of your bones from being impacted along the roll. It's a bit tricky to pull this off, and if you make a mistake, you can definitely feel it. On softer surfaces, it's more forgiving, but on something like concrete, not so much. To get the basic form down, you can crouch down on two feet, basically sitting on the back of your heels. Now, pick a shoulder you want to roll on, whatever you're comfortable with. I recommend training on both sides, but for this instance, I'm going to be using my right shoulder. So I'm going to take my right knee, point it towards the direction that I want to roll. I want to put my hands out in front of me. I'm going to put them on top of each other. I don't need to lace my fingers or anything specific. Just make sure my hands are in the same spot. I'm going to tilt my right elbow up and I'm going to lean my head to the left. This creates a circular path around your body of which you're going to roll across the floor. You're going to use your palms, place them on the floor directly in front of you at a good distance to where you can bend your elbow and reach to your shoulder blade of the shoulder that you want to roll on. It's okay if your forearm touches the ground, just make sure you don't bash your elbow into it. As you roll, you wanna make sure you roll diagonal across your back. So from your right shoulder down to your opposite hip. Notice there's going to be bones there that you want to avoid hitting the ground with. As you're rolling shoulder to opposite hip, make sure you're keeping your body tight like a round ball. As you come up from the roll, you should have one leg underneath you and the other leg right in front of you. The goal is, is to end your roll exactly how you started. This is something that's a simple concept, but complicated to practice. So please practice rolls as often as you can. There are different styles of rolling and all of which work just fine. The only bad roll is the one where you hurt yourself. So I encourage you to look up other tutorials of how to do this out of suit. You can also tell if you're doing the roll correctly because you'll have a nice smooth movement and come right back up. You can also do what's called a diving roll. For this video, I'm just gonna show you a basic diving roll where you kind of dive onto the ground 
your hands are going to be the first touch point and they're going to play a much bigger role in slowing yourself down using your triceps but the rest of the form is the same the key here is practice just dive a little short distance move the distance further and further and higher and higher as you feel comfortable practicing this move in a fursuit it's especially important to avoid smacking your head granted you're padded for safety which is nice but you still don't want to scuff anything up so having that head tilted away from the shoulder you're going to be rolling on is super important again keep in mind if you have large hands or feet and if you're like me and have a six foot long tail make sure you don't smack anyone with it all of these moves are super fun to practice and super fun to do in suit and you can do them anywhere there's a flat surface so i encourage you to go out there practice these things in a safe environment, bring it into your costume to add some flavor and have a lot of fun. And the more you practice them, the better they're gonna look. That is it for today's video. If you have a comment, question, or a story to share yourself, please comment in the section below. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs> right then. Oh, darling, dash hang on me. Anyway, this is something you might want to add to your cosplay performance because it, no. Literally, there is a sewage pipe right there. Hi. Have a hug.